Thousands of farmers will take out a tractor rally to block the Delhi Jaipur highway on Sunday. Demonstrators protesting against the center's new agricultural laws enacted in September said they vowed to intensify their agitation despite a fresh message from Prime Minister Narendra Modi on new legislations. More than 1,000 policemen were posted on Gurgaon's border with Delhi and 3,500 policemen were posted in Faridabad to block the movement. Though the Prime Minister insisted the centre's initiatives are aimed at increasing farmers' income and make them more prosperous, the protesters have said they want nothing less than the new laws to be scrapped. All farmer leaders will go on a hunger strike on December 14th at Delhi's Singhu border as the protests against the farm laws intensify, news agency PTI reported on Saturday. They have also planned to hold demonstrations in several parts of the country and Gherau BJP offices on that day. On Sunday, farmers will be taking out a tractor march. Farmer unions have rejected the amendments proposed by the centre to the three farm laws, saying they want a complete withdrawal. As a deadlock continues between the central government and protesting farmers on three new farm laws, Haryana Deputy Chief Minister Dushan Chautala on Saturday said he is hopeful that the next round of talks between the centre and the unions will take place in the next 24 to 40 hours and that some conclusive solution can come out of it. He has also said that as long as he is part of the Haryana government, MSP is ensured for farmers. His statement came after he met Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal in Delhi amid warnings by his party to withdraw support to the Qatar government over farm laws. The statue of Mahatma Gandhi in Washington was defaced and vandalized on Saturday by protesters who are supporting farmers in New Delhi, agitating against the recently enacted agricultural laws for the last 17 days. Khalistani flags with anti-India posters and banners were also sighted at the spot when protesters defaced Bapu's statue located in front of the Indian Embassy in Washington. During the protest, many of the pro-Khalistan Sikh youths flashing kirpans jumped on the statue of Mahatma Gandhi and pasted a poster over it. The Indian Embassy condemned the mischievous act by hooligans masquerading as protesters. India will never forget the cowardly attack on the parliament in 2001, Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted on Sunday. He paid tributes to soldiers who died protecting lives during the attack and said that the country will always be thankful to them. On this day, 19 years ago, a five-member suicide squad comprising Lashkari Toiba and Jaishi Muhammad terrorists attacked the Indian parliament while the Lok Sabha was in session. Five security personnel of Delhi police, one woman constable of the CRPF and two security assistants of parliament watch and ward section had died preventing the entry of terrorists into parliament house. India will not only achieve its Paris Agreement targets, but is on track to exceed expectations, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said during the Climate Ambition Summit 2020 on Saturday. He also highlighted that the country has reduced its emission intensity by 21% over 2005 levels. Speaking at the summit addressed by 77 world leaders, he further said that the signatories should not lose sight of the climate goals, stressing on the need to not only revise ambitions, but also also reviewed the achievements against the targets already set. Speaking to media persons on the sidelines of the passing out parade at the Indian Military Academy, Vice Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Satender Kumar Saini said that the ceasefire violations across the line of control have increased this year compared to the previous years. With reference to Pakistan, he said that the number of ceasefire violations at the LOC in Jammu and Kashmir have increased with an escalation in the caliber of artillery used by the other side. The Lieutenant General added that all Although India has suffered casualties, it has been retaliating in a calibrated manner and are prepared for all contingencies. Polling is underway for the sixth phase of Jammu and Kashmir's District Development Council elections in which over 7.48 lakh voters in 31 DDC constituencies will cast their votes on Sunday. Braving the cold weather conditions, voters arrived at polling booths in the first ever DDC elections in the Union Territory. Necessary COVID-19 protocols have been put in place, including temperature checks and social distancing. 
as many as 7,48,301 electors will decide the fate of 124 candidates for 14 seats in the Kashmir division and 121 candidates for 17 seats in the Jammu division. The CBI has set up an internal inquiry after 103 kilos of gold worth 43 crore rupees, seized and sealed by it eight years ago, went missing. The Madras High Court has directed the Tamil Nadu Crime Branch CID police to probe the case of missing gold, which left the country's premier investigating agency red-faced. The gold is part of 400 kilos bullion and ornaments confiscated by CIB when it carried out searches at the office of Surana Corporation Limited in Chennai in 2012 in a case pertaining to alleged favours extended by officials of Minerals and Metals Trading Corporation of India to the firm in import of gold and silver. The United States has recorded more than 16 million cases of COVID-19, by far the most in the world, according to data kept by John Hopkins University. Cases of virus have been rising across much of the US, causing record death totals in recent days. The US leads the world in deaths related to coronavirus at more than 2,97,600, including a record 3,309 recorded on Friday. The increases come as millions of doses of COVID-19 vaccine developed by Pfizer start rolling into U.S. hospitals on Monday. India and Brazil are the only two other countries that have reported more than 3 million cases of COVID-19.